In this video tutorial, we demonstrate how to use a 128 by 64 OLED display with an ESP32 node MCU over hardware I2C. This project is perfect for beginners and DIY enthusiasts who want to add visual output to their electronics projects. We'll cover everything from setting up the hardware connections to installing the necessary libraries in the Arduino IDE. You'll learn how to write code to display messages on the OLED, making it easy to understand how this technology works. We will use the following components in this project, the ESP32 node MCU and an OLED 128x64 display. First, connect the 128x64 OLED display to the ESP32 by aligning the pins correctly. The OLED module typically has four pins, VCC, GND, SCL, and SDA. Start by connecting VCC to the 3.3V pin on the ESP32, as most OLED modules operate on 3.3V. Next, connect GND from the OLED to the ESP32's ground, GND, pin. Ensure these power connections are secure, as they supply the required voltage for the OLED to function. For data communication, connect the SCL, clock, pin on the OLED to the ESP32's GPIO22, default hardware I2C clock pin, and the SDA, data, pin to GPIO21, default hardware I2C data pin. Make sure the wires are firmly attached to avoid loose connections. Once the connections are complete, double-check the wiring and secure the OLED pins by soldering them to the module if they are not pre-soldered. Refer to the wiring diagram below for a clear representation of the setup. After completing the wiring, connect the ESP32 to your PC or laptop using a USB cable. This connection powers the ESP32 and establishes a communication link for uploading code via the Arduino IDE. Open the Arduino IDE, navigate to the Tools menu, and ensure the correct board and port are selected. Under the Board option, choose your ESP32 model, e.g., ESP32 Dev Module, and then select the corresponding port that your ESP32 is connected to. Properly setting up the board and port ensures that the IDE communicates seamlessly with the ESP32. For this project, the U8G2 library is necessary to interface with the OLED display. In the Arduino IDE, Go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries. To open the Library Manager, search for U8G2 in the search bar and install the latest version of the library. The U8G2 library supports I2C, controlled OLED modules, providing all the necessary functions for displaying text, graphics, After installing the library, load your OLED display code in the Arduino IDE. Before uploading, verify the code to ensure there are no errors. Click on the Verify button, a checkmark icon, in the IDE. This step compiles your code, highlighting any issues that need to be addressed. If the compilation is successful, it confirms that your code is ready for uploading to the ESP32. Once the code is verified, click the Upload button to transfer it to the ESP32. The Arduino IDE will compile the code once more and then upload it to the board via the USB connection. After the upload is complete, the ESP32 will automatically run the program, and the OLED display should light up. It will display the text or graphics as defined in your code, confirming that your ESP32 and OLED are working correctly together. As per the above demonstration, if your OLED display is showing missing text or a vertical line appears at the end of the screen, this is often due to incorrect initialization of the display driver in the code. The issue can be resolved by switching to the correct display driver that is compatible with your OLED model. The SH1106 controller is typically used in many 128x64 OLED displays and might work better for your setup compared to the SSD1306 driver. To fix the issue, you need to replace the current display initialization line in the code with the correct one for the SH1106 driver. Here's how to do it. Comment out the original line, uncomment the other line. This new line tells the code to use the SH1106 display driver, 
which is compatible with your OLED screen and should resolve the issue of missing text and the vertical line. By making these changes, you are instructing the code to use a driver that is specifically designed to work with the SH1106 chip. This should fix the rendering problem on the OLED screen. Once you have updated the code, compile it and upload it to the ESP32 board. After the upload is complete, the OLED display should now show the full text without any missing parts or unwanted vertical lines. The display will function correctly, displaying the text as expected. For further clarification, we provide in-depth explanations of these features in additional segments of this video series. OLED Display Projects If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more content and provide valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.